Hello, hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and I am here to do the walkthrough of the One Sweet Winter Journal. And it is completely done. Here's the spine. Let me back that out a little bit. Now that, those are the kind of a plasticky, um, pieces that came with the Stamperia kit that I bought from um, Mixed Media Minnesota. So they're a little, they're quite glossy. Um, if you put um, Fabri-Tac on the back of these because of the acetone, if you move the glue around um, too hard, it will erase the back of them completely. So make sure if you're using the acetone-based glue on the backs of these um, plasticky ones that come with the Stamperi kits, since a lot of the other ones now, um, the backs will come off. So be very gentle when you um, move your glue around on them. So just that's just a note. So I've added this piece of fabric here. Um, it's a little off-white. I thought that looked better than stark white. And then on the front here, I put another little girl. See, these girls are going to meet her and see her new puppy that she got for Christmas in the little town that they live in. And I've put the magic of winter here and added a rose. And then I added these corner sections. And nothing on the back except for the hole that I uh, made for um, my ribbon. Now because this book cover was so thick and with the paper and everything I had, um, I want to tell you what I did was I, before I put this in, I just took this as a blank. I didn't put anything in, in there except for that hole of the book oops and i had to mush it down many many times to get an indentation on the underside so that this um the base of the brad would go through and be able to lock when i squished it together so it was able to lock into the um fibers of the the book so I don't know if that makes sense but it does to me because that's what I did <laughs> um, I had to do the same thing up here because I'm using a hitching post that's a Tim Holtz hitching post so let's untie this you don't have to um, take it completely out you can just unloop it but yeah with the hitching post I had to do the same thing and then I had to um, put glue in both of these sections. Okay, so well, here we forgot to put something. So let's just stick in this beautiful little flower here. And let's take a walk through the journal. Okay, so I added this. Now this is a ribbon. I took the wires out and then I just made it into a big long three yard ruffle and was able to put ruffles on uh, three different sections at the beginning of each signature. So I'm not going to pull out all the items a lot of, but I will tell you that a lot of these I left blank. I didn't put any ink on them or anything because I I want the new owner, whoever it is eventually, to um, be able to decorate them herself. And so here we have this little bird. Most of these pages I redid um, with just something simple on the back side. But this one, of course, we did together. And some of these I have gone around with ink.
And here we have like this. I just put this on here. It's an advertisement. You can use the pocket if you like. Um, let's see if Skating Girl will fit in there. Not very well. Don't know. Not going to worry about it. So, um, just a scrap paper. And here we have just a little, um, I, I need to glue that down. I put this on just to keep it more solid is what I did. Oh, it's because it's a flip out. There we go. I made a flip out here so you could write on it. You have to forgive me. It's been a little bit since I really flipped through it. I added a lot of these. These are from um, TaylorMade, is it? Oh, no. I'm losing the whole shebang of them. <laughs> Not prepared. We're having a little storm this morning. TaylorMade Journals. She has great Christmas packs. I love them. Um, and this back here is from um, Angela Kerr Designs. I used, in this album, I used Angela Kerr Designs, Stamperia, and Taylor Made Journals. And there might be bits and pieces of, um, I can't remember the name of them, but anyway. There might be bits and pieces that match the Angela Kerr. This here is just some gold splatter and gold spray. It does continue to get on your fingers. This is um, the paper. Um, boy, I'm sorry. I'm just, this storm thing's got me riled. Rice paper. Okay, moving on. Okay, leave the storm behind you. Uh, it's just got me a little riled because the power's been flicking off and on and I'm afraid it's going to stop me from videoing today. So this is just added to make this paper stronger. This is um, placemat paper, like what you'd get in a restaurant. And here I've just put this little flip on here just to make it um, sturdier. And we have in here just a little journal booklet. I'll put that back in when I get done. Um, in the centers I had these little ornaments. So I went ahead and attached those on the inside of the centers. And here is another one of these pockets. Just made out of an uh, old typing manual. And here I've just added a Santa. This is an um, envelope. And let's see. And just a pretty little pocket. And here we have an angel. And I've just added some pretty um, lace on it. I just thought she looked so pretty on it. And a doily. Graph paper. Another fold out for writing. and some ink pad foam, blank pages, and here we have a belly band with a pocket, flip open pocket, and a belly band with a pocket. And here we have just a pocket with a tailor-made 
journals um, picture on it. I believe it's tailor made. No, I bet, bet it's not. This is one of those other ones. Sorry. And a journaling card. And some more blank pages. Another one of these pages with all the pockets. And this one has a few extra. Um, here we have another pocket and I put a side on it and then a little rose here for a tuck and a little side pocket and then I decorated the journal card or the tag with some lace and some flowers. Really simple, quick, quick way to add to it. And here we have, sorry, my stuff is getting all bungled up. Another page of the Stamperia paper. Another pocket. And just a little side pocket. This one I colored the stocking and sprayed it with the gold. I sprayed it with the gold, then the stocking looked terrible, so I had to fix that. This is a tailor made. Isn't that cute? So sweet. And this is that five pocket, that um, two envelope, five pockets. So I just made some little journaling cards that are, have six successive tabs on them. One on the front envelope, one in the center envelope. It's not a center, it's between the envelopes. And then this one is on the other envelope here. As you can see, it's a window. And this one, I permanently put this in the window. And then at the top, I put just a journaling card in the front one. And in the back one, I put another one. So that's pretty cool, all those pockets. I have to stand it up to get that down in there the right way. I didn't back these, so they're a little tight. Moving on. Just a little tuck with the tailor-made journal in there. This is a tailor-made. Just put a pocket in here with a tuck and a tag in the pocket. I had to add some of the Christmassy colors to it um, because I was missing those colors in my <laughs> journal. <coughs> This is just an advertisement that I applied. It's solid, no pockets. And same way here. I just applied it. And then you can journal on the back of that braille paper. Um, here it looks like I totally misplaced a tag. Well, let's see, what could we add there? Here's just a cardboard tag. Let's add that. There we go. And writing space on the back. And then the center page. And on this one we have a bell. Oh, sorry, a bell and an ornament. Sorry about that. Um, every one of the center ones has a, a ribbon marker. Just a pocket with the tailor made. And I'm not sure. Oh, that must be the Stamperia. This is another just solid piece. No pockets. 
Can you see that? That's a tailor made. And here's another tuck. And I just had this extra piece sitting on my desk, so I just glued it down. It was a ruffle. And on this side, I put a Santa. All of these little Christmassy ones like this are tailor made. Isn't that beautiful? Just to kind of add to the some of the blank pages. Um, it just, some of them felt like they needed something extra. Just a journaling card. And here is a side pocket with a tuck. Little kitty and a present. Fun to do. And just another pocket with a postcard in it. Another ruffle. And uh, another pocket with a postcard. Didn't put anything on this one because we have um, this one here. And I put this little lace down here on the pocket. And then this, I put um, modeling paste over the snowflake um, stencil I had from Mixed Media Minnesota. And on this one, I painted it with nail polish. And on those, I painted those with um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, frosted lace stickles. So there we go. It's just a journaling card. And let's see, a pocket back here. A little bit of lace or ribbon back there. Just a, a partial page. You can use partial pages to hook um, like cards onto or something. You know, it gives you a place to glue something special that you want to keep in your journal. And just an angel page. Another Santa. Oh, this is beautiful. This is the um, pocket. I think it's also a belly band. So you can use the belly band or you can just use the pocket. Would have been a good place to put something extra there, huh? And here we have just a little dog with some tags. So he's a tuck spot. And here is a journaling card or a tag. Blank page. And in here I just added this little, kind of like a tissue maybe, but it's just a piece of lace and some little birds and a little tuck spot. And then I added, of course, we did this together, the lacy page. And here we have a Santa card. And this one was from another designer, I believe. And this is just a permanent advertisement, tailor-made journals. And here I tucked in some of the extra pieces of the paper just so that the new owner could do whatever they want with them. A couple more little ornaments. Let's 
see if I can get this up there so you can see them. And let's see. Beautiful, isn't it? I thought this went so well with her pink and the pink polka dots. And this is some more more uh, extra pieces. I just cut them into a tag shape so they would look nice. And tucked them on in. And some more here. So you can see in the back piece, I mostly started tucking in extras. And these are the envelopes that are from Angela Kerr Designs, I believe. This is just a long piece of 12 by 12 cut down to fit in the envelope so that it could be journaled on the back. And I can't remember what company this one was with. That one's not a Stamperia paper. I'm going to just tuck that in there. And on the back we have a little pocket. So let's put something in there. Here we go. And some more extras here. And here. They're just extra pieces, so I cut them to kind of fit in there and have a shape. Just decorated here. I think we did that together. This might have been a Gail Augustinelli piece of paper. And another decorative element. And here we have just a journaling card. And a pocket back here. And another pocket here with some extra elements. And we could actually tuck in some extra papers back here from the Stamperia kit. Why not? Here's one that I cut for something else. I mean, we might as well send as much of it as we can with somebody new. And I thought I saw one more tag or something. Come here, little bird. There. And you flip it over, and here's another side to it. With more, more extras. I think this is too wide, is it? No, it'll fit right in there nicely. This one. No, that one's too big. Okay. And just another addition to the page. No pockets. And right here is some more extras I just have added. And handmade by Angela Toma 2022. Down in the bottom. I buy these at Walmart. They don't have my name on them. Of course, I have to put my name on them. Back here we have just a tuck spot with some extra elements and my business card. And so there we are. I so appreciate each of you following me through this uh, journal. I didn't plan for it to take all of um, December, but boy it sure did, didn't it? So to use a hitching post in case you guys aren't, somebody's not aware of them. They're made, they're a Tim Holtz product, I believe. And you just hook your ribbon around, squish your book down, hook your ribbon, bring it around like a normal bow. 
and voila you're done so there we go I hope you enjoyed this um, I hope to start posting on my Etsy site uh, this week I'm trying to make myself take the extra time and do it um, it's a lot of work probably won't get it done today because our power has been flickering all morning it's not a beautiful ribbon it's just so silky and so shiny it's beautiful matches this kit perfectly okay thanks for joining me and I hope you all had a good time following along I sure appreciate all your support and kind words and anyway I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and I'm wishing you all a beautiful new year bye